So hey everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we will be solving the problem equilibrium point and this problem has been asked in amazon so please watch the video very carefully till the end and i will give you three solutions in order to solve that problem but before that let's read the problem statement so we are given an array of n positive numbers the task is to find the first equilibrium point in an array and what does the equilibrium point represents equilibrium point in an array is a position such that sum of elements before it is equal to sum of the elements after it we have to return equilibrium point in one based indexing so we will assume that the array is one index based and we can return minus one if no such point exist so if you observe in this array at this position the sum of the left elements is going to be four and sum of the right elements is going to be four so this is going to be the first equilibrium point in the array so according to the problem there can be many equilibrium points but we need to return the first equilibrium point so our output is going to be 3 similarly here if n is equal to 1 my array is going to be this since we have only one uh, element possible we will be returning this so our output is going to be 1 and the expected time complexity for this is going to be order of n and the expected space complexity for this is going to be order of n. So let's discuss the problem in more detail. So let's say my array is like this 1, 3, 2, 2, and 2. So, what can be the brute force approach in order to solve this problem? At each of the point, you can find the sum of the elements towards its left and sum of the elements towards its right. But in order to do that, for every point, you will be calculating the sum of the right and sum of the left. So sum of left will take you order of n time and sum of right will take you order of n time and you will do this for each of the points right so the time complexity for that is going to be order of n square and the space complexity for this is going to be order of one because every time you will be using a left sum and right sum okay so i hope you have understood the approach one now let's discuss how can we optimize this so we can optimize this using a cumulative sum array now what does a cumulative sum array represents let's see so my array was 1 3 2 2 and 2 now let's say we make a cumulative sum array of the same size of the array let's say here the size of the array was 5 so cumulative sums size will be 5 only right now we will be taking a running sum so here since we are at the first element we will be adding one here and this is my cumulative sum array when we encounter three one plus three is going to be four so we fill up four here similarly four plus two is going to be six six plus two is eight and eight plus two is ten so this is going to be our cumulative sum now when we iterate on this here i know my left sum is going to be nothing but zero and the right sum we can calculate using see this is going to be the total sum of the array right if you calculate also the sum of the array is going to be nothing but 10 so this represents the total sum of the array now if we subtract one from it we can get the right sum right so for this position we can calculate the right sum using cumulative sum of n minus 1 minus array of i so 10 minus 1 is going to be 9 right and since we are at index 0 i know my left sum is going to be nothing but 0 right now when we are at this index 4 how can we calculate the right sum that is simple you can just subtract a of i from the total sum which is going to be nothing but 10 minus 4 is equal to 6 right now what is going to be the left sum so we can easily calculate the left sum by using cumulative sum of i minus 1th index because whatever be the sum here that will be comprising of all the elements formed from the left elements now you can see for 6 as well so that you can understand better so at 6 how can we calculate the right sum so right sum is going to be nothing but 10 minus 6 which is going to be 4 right so we were at this position the right sum is going to be 4 so we can get this 4 now here how can we get the left sum that is nothing but 
c sum of i minus 1 assuming the name of the array is c cumulative sum right so the left sum was also 4 since 1 plus 3 is going to be 4 so at each of the point we will check if cumulative sum at i minus 1 th index is equal to cumulative sum of n minus 1 th index minus array of i means that is going to be my equilibrium point and in that case we can return i plus 1 because as soon as you get a equilibrium point you need to return that because we need to find the first equilibrium point so in this way first of all we will be calculating this cumulative sum array that will be taking a order of n time and now you will be reiterating on this array okay for each of the points so that is again going to take your order of n time and this will take a order of n space right so overall for this approach the time complexity as well as the space complexity is going to be order of n now since our problem demands our time complexity to be order of n and the space complexity to be order of 1 so let's see how can we do that so let's say my array was 1 3 2 2 and 2 first of all in this approach we will be taking the total sum of the array why because if you observe here this was nothing but the total sum of the array so first step is going to be calculate the total sum that is going to be nothing but 10 right now at each of the positions you will be checking your left sum and right sum right so right sum can be easily calculated using total sum minus array of i right and now the task is to calculate the left sum so we can use a running sum kind of thing so let's say how can we do that first of all let's say we take a left sum okay now i know one thing for sure like the first position in the array cannot be an equilibrium point why because anything coming after that is going to have a greater sum than the left sum right similarly the last position of the array cannot be equilibrium point because anything coming before that will be having a greater sum than the elements coming after that because we are having no elements after the last element right so right in this case the right sum is going to be zero and left sum will be the sum of the elements before that element now so in this case what we can do we can run our for loop from i equal to 1 till i less than n minus 1 i plus plus okay and let's say we have a left sum which will be initialized to 0 my left sum first of all what we can do we can add the last element to the left sum right and what will be my right sum my right sum will be nothing but total sum minus array of i why we are doing this because at each of the position i want to know the left sum so we are making sure that we have all the elements except the current element so we are taking the sum only to i minus 1 at index okay so i minus 1 at index tak hum log sum le rahe hai, hai? that will ensure ki we are not taking the current element and we are having the left sum at each and every point of time now here we can check if left sum is going to be equal to right sum we can return i plus 1 assuming the array to be one based indexing and if we are out of this for loop and we are not able to return from here what we can do we can return minus 1 because we were not able to find any equilibrium point in the array so let's do a dry run on this sample test case so we will be running our for loop from here my total sum is going to be 10 right now how can we calculate the left sum left sum will be nothing but it will be initialized to 0 and we will add 1 to it so left sum is going to be 1 my right sum is going to be nothing but total sum which is going to be 10 minus this element because we don't need to include this in the right sum right so right sum is going to be the sum of the elements after that current element minus the left sum okay because this is the right sum right 
so here my left sum is going to be 1 and right sum is going to be nothing but 4 so we find here that the left sum and right sum are not equal so we will not do anything when we come here my total sum is going to be nothing but 10 minus your left sum is going to be 1 plus 3 which is going to be 4 and we can subtract the current element and the left sum so 10 minus 2 minus 4 is going to be nothing but 4 here the left sum and the right sum are equal so we can return this index which is nothing but third okay because this will be 2th index and we will return i plus 1 assuming one base indexing so we can get our answer from here right so i hope you have understood the approach let's see the implementation so first of all if we are having only one element we can simply return one right no need to do any operations in that case otherwise we will be taking a sum variable which will be of type long long because our array is a long long type so we will initialize it to zero we will be calculating the total sum first of all so you can easily calculate that by just running a for loop now my left sum will be initialized to zero and we have taken a right sum variable okay now we will be iterating from i equal to 1 till i less than n minus 1 my left sum is going to be nothing but we will be adding a of i minus 1 at each and every position my right sum is going to be nothing but total sum minus the current sum minus the left sum okay and if my left sum is going to be right sum we will be returning i plus 1 from there and in the case we are not able to return from this for loop so we will be returning minus 1 so i hope you have understood the implementation in case if you have any doubts write it down in the comments like this video if you have understood share among your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching